Hi everyone. This is the first class of the first series of the talk, Metaphysics Not Mysterious. So in this first class, uh, I will give you a list of what I'm going to cover in the next few years. Uh, so the major purpose of this is to give you an, an overview about uh, what you are expected to learn from this talk. So the first theory would be uh, Feng Shui. Right. Feng Shui. And then after that, uh, I am going to discuss face reading. So both Feng Shui and face reading belong to the category of physiognomy. Physiognomy. So essentially, Feng Shui is the physiognomy of the land. And face reading is the physiognomy of the person. person. Uh, so actually, the face reading is a rather misleading name because the physiognomy of the person does not only involve the uh, reading of the face, but also the, the, the reading of the, the voice, the, the language, the, uh, the physical actions, and, and, and so forth. Uh, right, so after this, these two subjects, I am going to discuss Western strategy. Western astrology and uh, palmistry. palmistry mostly known as palm reading palm re reading so as most of you probably already know something about western astrology like your sign like the 12 signs but actually the western astrology is uh, it's probably much more complicated than what you would learn because most people uh, right now use the uh, the astrology to predict the the character or the nature of the person but in fact uh, the, the astrology can be served as a strategic management tool uh, which can be very helpful in making decisions in your search so I'll talk more details about it when I uh, when I uh, talk about this subject. And after that, I will teach two Chinese astrologies. One is called Da Zi astrology, sometimes known as Four Pillar Pillar astrology, and and purple star, purple star astrology. So, 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 in essence, those Chinese astrologies are the same as Western astrology, but they are just in different forms. So, don't be scared away. It's uh, also they are also very helpful. Uh, and I will try my best to uh, make them easier to understand and learn. And make sure that you learn the fewest Chinese characters to grasp them. Okay. And finally, I will uh, talk about tarot. Mm. So just just for your information, so uh, this 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 talk has both English version and Chinese version. So in Chinese version, I I am not going to talk about tarot. Uh, instead, I will talk about Dalian. So if you happen to know Chinese, you can you can also you you can you know uh, watch the video for the Chinese version Dalian. Uh, so that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's seven series. Uh, I think that's that's what I'm going to cover for the next couple of years. And 
this is probably what I'm going to say for today. And、uh, next class would be the first class of the the function series. And thank you, everyone.